Hello guys, this is your third video in this series on listening. So far, I explained you the importance of different language skills and why listening is a game changer skill for reaching fluency. You will find all the videos in the playlist Unlock Fluency Through Listening. In my upcoming videos, as promised, I will share the unique three-step listening technique that you can apply to any audio and video content you listen to or watch. Studies have shown that 50 hours of using this technique are equivalent to 500-800 hours of regular listening. So make sure you don't miss it, guys. So if you understand the power of listening and dedicate time to it, but don't get expected results. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching to make sure you don't make these common major mistakes, which are the reason why you don't benefit from what listening has to offer. Mistake number one when it comes to listening is wrong resources. Let me start with my own example. When I was 15, 16 years old, I used to read these kind of magazines about celebrities, gossips, fashion, beauty stuff, etc. And do you know what I bought to learn to improve my English? I bought Oliver Twist. Yes, I bought a classic novel to learn English. I let you guess, guys, how many pages I read before I never opened it again. Not even 10, guys. And it took me hours because I was checking every other word in a dictionary. There was no Google Translate when I was a teenager. It was a wrong resource that wasted my time and gave me zero results. First of all, it wasn't the kind of reading I enjoyed at that time. Secondly, I hadn't read Oliver Twist before, so I had no idea about the story. I was trying to understand completely new information to me in a foreign language. And also, the language I was reading, especially the vocabulary, was heavy, you know, not relevant to me. And it wasn't real life modern English. Pure waste of time. So when I say wrong resources, I mean, first, resources that are not interesting for you. Something you wouldn't really watch or listen to in your native language. Second, resources that are not relevant. If you know nothing about the topic in your native language, listening or watching new information in a new language is choosing the hardest way, guys. So, not interesting, not relevant. And finally, varied. Varied means you watch or listen to different people, different accents, registers, different topics, etc. You jump from one show, movie, blogger to another. You deal with different speech patterns, vocabulary changes, speed changes, accents change. Even in our native language, when we meet someone new, the first few minutes, we are getting used to the way the person speaks, even if we have that person in front of us. So, wrong resources equal. You struggle to understand, you don't enjoy. You can stay focused long time. You change the speed from natural flow to slow. You put subtitles. You don't improve your listening, guys. I will explain more in details how to choose the right resources and how to work the right way in my upcoming videos. Meanwhile, the wrong resources lead you to the mistake number two, guys, which is lack of consistency. Listen every once in a while is not effective before you reach a certain level. Like anything else, go to the gym, play guitar, I don't know, make cakes. You need to be consistent to practice, to make progress and get results, right? In learning foreign languages, the frequency of exposure to the language you learn is key. The frequency of exposure is what will make you progress. Let me show you something, guys. Look, this is your brain when you learn something. The two cells are neurons, and the lines are the connections between them. Those connections form when you revisit information. The more you revisit an information, the stronger those connections become. So what conclusion can we draw from this? Neurobiology shows that it's better to learn in small portions but consistently rather than in large portions now and then. 15 minutes every day is more effective than an hour and a half once a week. And the key to consistency, guys, is enjoyment. 
the language you learn must be synonymous with enjoyment. And that's where we circle back to our first point, which is using the right resources. Right resources provides pleasure. Pleasure leads to consistency. Mistake number three is a major mistake. Subtitles. Subtitles is the main reason why your listening doesn't get better, guys. And once again, it's because of the way our brain works. In some non-English speaking countries like Japan, children as young as six or seven years old start watching cartoons in English with subtitles in their native language. However, they don't end up speaking the language any better than others. Millions of people consume movies or content in this way and don't learn the foreign language. This is due to the way our brain functions. Our brain cannot perform two tasks at once. So when faced with two tasks, in our case listening and reading, it chooses the less effortful option, in our case reading. Either because the subtitles are in your native language or simply because the words are written and displayed separately. Spending 1,000 hours watching content with subtitles yields very poor results, guys. Because if you have subtitles on, your brain will automatically prioritize reading because this is the easiest way to comprehend the content. So when you watch with subtitles, guys, you are not really listening. Instead, you are reading. And when you turn off the subtitles, you struggle to understand. So you end up putting back the subtitles. You might spend hours doing this, going back and forth, but the result is that you might learn some new words without actually improving your comprehension. Watching, stopping, going back, translating, and rewatching again doesn't develop your listening skill. In essence, you are learning vocabulary in the most time-consuming way. To sum up, guys, if you don't benefit from what listening has to offer, it's because one, you use wrong resources, which can be not interesting, not relevant, varied. Reason number two, you are not consistent. So your brain doesn't have the chance to create connections. And the major mistake is that you use subtitles and get tricked by your brain, which always opts for the easiest task. What do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this the way you do? Yes or no? And make sure you watched my previous videos on listening to get ready to discover the three-step listening method, which will unlock your way to fluency through the most enjoyable part of your learning journey, which is listening. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my next video.